some night fishing. We just had a tornado warning. Siren go off. So I um, mainly was going to do a video for you guys, setting up camp and everything, camping out, doing some night fishing. And I got here and it was practically raining when I got here, so I was just trying to get camp set up, get everything, everything up and waterproof as best I can. Now it looks like we got some heavier stuff coming through. Mosquitoes are unforgiving right now. All right, so the tornado warning calmed down. Apparently it passed. No rain right now. Now I'm just trying to scour and get me some firewood. I've got a fire going. It's all good wood to cook with. Now I'm just finding firewood to keep the bugs away. These mosquitoes are terrible. Oh, we got some sunshine coming out. Mosquitoes are still bad.
Currently 12.35 a.m. First catch of the night, night fishing on our camping trip. Me and my nephew Skylar here. I just caught this one. It was about three pounds, maybe four. We're gonna show you how to de-hook it real quick. Well, my nephew is he's gonna show me the proper way anyway. Let's see what you got. All right, normally when you, when you have a catfish, this one or the one on the other side, so, one good way to do it is if you just grab them like this. If you squeeze that, it temporarily immobilizes them long enough where you just pull that out. Make sure you don't get Just grab the hook, push down, then you get the other one. Then as you're doing that, he cannot move. And that's how you properly remove a hook from a catfish. Look, somebody left one in there. Can you get that one out before we set him back? Oh, damn. Now we got both of them out. He's good to go back, catch and release. We're gonna go ahead and release him and let you see that right down in here. And one myth about catfish, these don't sting you. Is he gonna swim away? Oops, wrong way. And off he goes. There he goes. This is currently our view right here. Out here at Sugar River Station 2 it looks like. Yeah. Winnebago, Illinois. Doing some catfishing. Just caught one. That's all we've caught so far. That was about 12.30. Getting a lot of bites. Pretty sure mine's over there. And there's a lot of weird ass noises. Some lightning off in the distance. Yeah. Alright everyone, it's dark as hell. We walked up a little bit of a trail. And can you guys hear that? We can't tell if that's frogs. Or that's deer. It's off in that direction. And 
one right over there is where we're fishing. That sounded close. Let's walk up this way a little bit. That probably answers it right there. Look at like a frog pond. Wow. Yeah, you see the eyes glowing? I don't know if you guys can see it on the light, but there's a couple sets of eyes glowing. Sound like some big ass bullfrogs. Campgrounds are creepy as hell at night, I give it that. So this is currently what we're going to attempt to do. We're going to go on an equestrian trail. Creepy ass trail at night. Alright you guys, we're going to go ahead and keep the cameras rolling. You got yours going? After seeing those tracks, the deer's I think is a coyote, because if it was somebody's pet, it wouldn't have just came out of nowhere onto the path, you know what I mean? I mean, you heard him playing his day earlier too, and then the one growled at us. Alright, now we're at another spot, do we go left or right? I normally stick with left. You go left once, you go left always. Yeah, but that way could be right back to the campsite and we wouldn't even know. Well, we could take this. This could probably... This is possibly going to just take us right back to that trail 3 marker. If it's swooping back around that way. And if that's the case, we're going to have to backtrack a lot. I don't think so, because um, the property line. Yeah, we're going towards that. Yeah, we're going with it. I know my shoes are getting soaked from walking through all this wet, dewy grass. Bro, it's, it looks like a field. So, um, we need to find a spot to take. We just seen a coyote back there hunkered down. 
then Corey saw another one over there. So now he's behind us. Hole of nothing, dude. Yeah, dude, he's behind us. Where? I don't know. He's back there somewhere. I saw his eyes light up again. Fuck that. I hope this trail gets us back to camp. It's getting really foggy. It's getting hard to see anything. And I really, really, really hope they're not fucking hungry. Okay, so we just came across this dude, and I'm more scared to walk past that son of a bitch than I am these coyotes. He's pretty damn big. Let's see if we can get a picture of you standing next to that Skylar. I don't know about that one thing. We made it back out. Safe and sound. Am I happy to see that sign? And all right. Yeah, currently. Good sign, everybody. We made it back out, safe and sound. Make sure there ain't no bats in here. After about four hours of hiking, we finally found our campsite. What a sight to see. And the sun's already starting to come up. It was a long hike.
Take one more good look, get some more photos. And call it a day.